28 Days, A Summer to Remember. With a $50,000 grant from the Dominion Foundation, 12 high school students, four teachers, and their guides from the James River Association will put their canoes into the headwaters of the James River and begin an exploration that will end at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. Protection and preservation of the environment are ingrained in the work we do every day at Dominion. We're particularly pleased about this project with the James River Association because it provides an opportunity to teach young people about the importance of, of preserving the environment. Cool temperatures and a partly cloudy sky did nothing to dampen the spirits of the members of the James River Expedition as they gathered at the headwaters of the James River in Iron Gate, Virginia to begin their 28-day journey. But before the fun could begin, the 12 students, four teachers, and members of the James River Association had to introduce themselves, get the canoes off the racks, load and secure all of the supplies, and then get final instructions from Gabe Silver, the expedition's leader. After weeks of anticipation, it was finally launch time. The nine canoes were put into the water, two paddlers per canoe, and the 340-mile trip was underway. The first day's paddle was an easy 10-mile excursion along relatively flat water to give the students and teachers an opportunity to practice their strokes and get comfortable on the water. Only 330 miles to go. This is the first day. I got a fish this big, this big. <laughs> Not really, it was like that. And I had a great teacher named Ray sitting over there laughing. And I caught it with a blue, blue popper. It was a lot of fun, I liked it. <laughs> I definitely want to go again. The James River isn't just a river, it's a sense of life, it's a sense of pride. You know, it is Virginia's founding river, for, you know, the nation's founding river. I actually teach uh, AP Environmental Science, so we do a lot of stuff about power plants, and I was able to get some hands-on and get some better ideas myself. Uh, we talk a lot about coal, um, turn and burn kind of ideas with nuclear power plants, but doing the gas power and um, the extra turbine is going to be fun to relate to my students next year. Today we went to one of Dominion's uh, new energy uh, plants, uh, all powered by natural gas. Great experience. They showed us all how, about how all of it works. We asked hundreds of questions. Great day. We've had some unintentional swims here and there. I've seen a couple people fall and it's just kind of funny at this point. A high school student Eric Hahn is seeing firsthand how algae blooms are damaging the James River. It'll grow very fast, then it dies. And when it dies, a lot of bacteria will, be, will begin to eat it and cause dead zones. And dead zones are terrible for the water. Fish hate it, fish die. Many of those blooms pop up because of runoff from farming fertilizer and animal waste. And we began to saw so much algae that I didn't want to swim in the river anymore. Vaughn is a part of a group of 12 students spending a month paddling down the James. I love being on the river. I, I don't know what I would want to be doing more. At the station, they were treated to a pizza dinner, a question and answer session with environmental quality supervisor Don Garber, and a tour of the plant. After an overnight stay in the cabin at the power station, the group will enter the final leg of the adventure as they head towards the mouth of the James. I guess in the beginning, a lot of people thought, you know, this would be an impossible mission, but, you know, all the impossible missions are the ones that succeed. So we started up at Iron Gate, first day, we were all pumped, all complete strangers. By the first night, we were all great friends, and tonight, or today for that matter, we're a family.